moments like that, man, that you're going to get better every day when you're in the room. And Inglewood, California, it's Javon, the Humble Beast Crowder! And across the cage, weighing 179 pounds with a record of two wins and one loss. Fighting out of American Top Team Team Lima from Birmingham, Alabama, it's Ricky, the Crimson King, McConaughey! All right, Sam, when we get this fight going, we have Javon Crawford coming out of the blue corner in the black and multicolored shorts. Ricky McConaughey in the black shorts coming out of the red corner. Say Javon's from Inglewood, California. I used to live out towards that way. I thought oh, you did. Look, he's coming. Tap. Off the glove tap oh, and strikes. And we talked about that earlier, did we not? Oh. I told you he's going to make it. He's going to make it. He's going to make it dirty. He's, he's a brawler. Made it dirty. Yes, he is a brawler. Oh! oh! But this is Ricky. Put him on his butt. Yeah, I shouldn't pick Nice him. knee. <laughs> nice knee. Beautiful knees by Ricky. I would like to see Ricky pull away a little bit. If he's got him rocked, take advantage of that. Those knees were landing. But here's the thing. They started out fast. Javon missed so much weight. We have to worry about his cardio. You know, yeah. is he going to be able to keep this pace up? Because I know Ricky can. Here we go. It's kind of slowing down a little bit. Exactly what Ricky wanted. He wants to stay on the outside. Yeah. I'd like to see Ricky get that jab going a little bit. Yeah. Oh! Big left hook by Javon. Good. Just, just throw that jab out there. But Jay, you're right, Javon is coming in with some power. Yeah. The jab, the most underestimated strike in, in combative sports. In the history of MMA, GSP is the only one to use it. <laughs> Beat Koscheck with it. Yeah, twice. Twice, yeah. Good, you get Javon adding some uh, uh, takedown feints, just stepping real heavy, trying to make uh, R Ricky look the wrong way. And Ricky definitely has the reach advantage here. Yeah, and that's what he was. Reach. Yeah, and that's what he was saying. He wanted to keep it on the outside. And the last right. time he fought for us, he was so good about keeping it on the outside. Yeah. I think he's kind of caught up in this brawl. He you know, look, you can get sucked into your opponent's game plan very easily. Yeah, if he just yeah, there you go. Just keep that, that jab out there a little bit. You've racked him once. Exactly. Oh, nice body shot coming back up with the right hook. And Ricky is so accurate with that jab and that that hook. Uh, you see Giovanni starting to take those big deep breaths. Yeah. I mean, I love the teep kicks from here, especially when his back's up against the cage. The teep kicks there. Yeah. You got the head kick that he threw earlier. Yeah. Jamal. And you can say, if you train him on the teep kicks, you can come back up with that head kick. Exactly. Just get him reacting a little bit to it. Oh! So big that. right I hand! That. I saw that coming. He, he's got, yeah, he's got to be that careful. Coming. Javon has power. Look at his base. I mean, and he is looking for that accurate get in the pocket shot. That's what he wants. The thing is, man, this guy only gets really beat on the ground. I mean, when you go standing, he's a dangerous man. Oh, yeah. And he's not afraid to jump in the pocket and get in that phone booth with you either. Good. I'd like to see Ricky throw just that one jab and then come with that head kick. Yeah. Right. And I worry about Ricky keeping his hands down. He's already been rocked. Both of these guys have been rocked, but he's, his hands are, are, are down to his chest. Yeah, and it's Both guys. Like who can handle getting rocked and coming back and recovering? There's that there's teacher that asking for. Yep. Oh, there's that big jab. Now you're going to spit out of uh, Javon's mouth. Man. Good. And Ricky looks like he's awake now. He's ready yeah. for round two. He, he's ready for round two. I look forward to seeing what his coaches tell him to do and see if Ricky can pull it off. Well, to be honest with you, Javon's not breathing hard. I no. mean, to miss weight like that, maybe he just didn't cut weight. Just I know they train try. hard, yeah. But I would hate to be a judge on that first round. I mean, who, who do you give it to? Because they both rocked each other. They, From my angle, I don't think Javon rocked Ricky. I think he hit Ricky and just kind of pushed Ricky over. Okay. I think it was more of a foot placement thing than an actual rock. He just popped up and didn't show any signs to me like he had been rocked. 
uh, where I do think Javon was was close to out for half a second. He hit the canvas. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, you're right. I agree with well, you on that. I was wanting y'all's opinion on strikes, that. strikes, strikes, more strikes, active strikes count more than power, power they do. shots, you know, at the end of the day. Oh, and now Javon just flipped off uh, from the corner, flipped off, Ricky. Oh, no. So now we got a lot of animosity going Two into the second salute. round. A two-finger burn? Two-finger salute right off the bat. I don't know. Trying to get in that head. What has Ricky done? Ricky just made weight and didn't sucker punch. Do they know each other? They're both from this area. Oh, maybe. Is there some bad, bad blood that we don't know about? I don't know. Will it be squashed? Nice teep. Oh. See, I've been calling yeah. for the teep. It's there. Teep. The teep is there all the day. The jab's there, too. The jab's there. I like. Oh, there's a head kick. Oh, man, right here at us now. Ricky's 2-0. Right in front of us. 10 off of the one-twos. Oh, a two-piece coming from, from Javon. Oh, oh heck it. Oh. He's coming. We're getting sprayed. Oh, sweat. we're getting sprayed. He's got to keep his hands up. Ricky has to keep his hands up because Javon has knockout power. Nice inside leg kick right there to the calf. Ricky is cut open. Or uh, Javon is Javon cut is open. Cut yeah, open. Javon is cut open. That was a big kick, big cross combo. Ricky's looking at Javon going, okay, I got my distance now with this head kick. I'm, he's looking for it. Yeah, he's, he's he, not pressing yeah. as much. I think his coaches came and said, just keep that distance. He's that. Ricky is eating those hooks. He'll eventually find the finish. There. Oh, it's about He's over. One, two, one, two, one, two. The ref's down. looking in to stop the fight. Oh, Beautiful man. stoppage. Great Beautiful show stop. by Ricky. Great show oh. by Ricky McConico. Good. Beautiful play. win. Oh, and the taunts are still gone. The bad blood is not buried. <laughs> man, what a fight. What a showing. Ricky's pumped up, and I was about to mention that. Man, if he would just keep moving forward and being aggressive, he was going to put him away. Yeah. Because Ricky was hurt right off the rip of the second round. Yeah. But that head kick, you called it in the first. You said it's there. It, it was there. That's uh, what cut him open. And then he followed it up with that big cross, and he had a little three-piece combo in there. How hard is Javon for not falling over? Man, we've got blood all over our paperwork. I love this, man. This is amazing. Oh, what a great fight. That was a wonderful fight. I would like to. Yes, I wish they'd get the microphone. I want to hear them talk. Right. Oh, yeah. To you see what the beef is. Yeah. You got blood over your face. Man, we're at a fight. It's fine. I'll wipe it <laughs> off and we're done. It works. These guys have been tested. I'm good to go. Oh. 20 pounds. Ricky's yeah. hollering 20 pounds. Ricky is upset. You know, I think the adrenaline got to him in the first. He wasn't setting a lot up. The he, second, he looked more composed. I think the coaches got in there and told him, he said, listen, you got, you've got the reach advantage. You're going to hit him. You are hitting him. You don't need to crowd him. Exactly. And he listened. He, listened. And he got the finish. He sure did. I just saw every time Javon would go to the left. Oh, how you doing, man? <laughs> Every time Javon went to the left, he would square up, and I knew the teep was there every time he yeah. would go to the left. Yeah, and it was a beautiful thing. Knocked him right on his butt. What a fight, man. I mean, back and forth. And Javon needs to hold his head up, man. I don't know if he trained for this fight, if he took it on short notice, but he needs to hold his head up. I know he'll be back. He's with a great gym in Rocket City, Jason Sanderson and them guys. Great group of guys up that way. And, and I think he'll be back. He, he just needs to compose you himself. By seven strikes, one minute and 11 seconds into round two. Out of the red corner, Ricky, the Crimson King Mechanico. Oh, and he's calling for the title. Puts him at three and one. Hey, hey, let's get that man a title. Feel like he, I mean, look, man, you know, the thing is that the 170 division, yes, it's stacked. There's so much good talent at the 170 division. Maybe he needs to go up in competition a little bit, get a dub there, yeah. and then I feel like he would be title worthy at that point, being 4 and 1. No, absolutely. No, you, you are right. Ricky's wanting that picture you keep talking about, Sam. It didn't happen if it's not on the ground. That's it. 
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for these amazing athletes. Yeah, what, I mean, just like Jenny Lucille said, what a great fight.